known Orbo for a long time. You were an assistant coach back in 2010. What were your first impressions of, of Orbo back then? Yeah, I remember, I remember watching him obviously before I came in, in at the end of 2009 and he just started playing. And I remember some some key things I remember about him. I remember his. I remember a game he played in New Zealand, actually, uh, which was a quite a physical game. Freddie was coach, and I remember that he really stood out to me in the way that he played, both uh, in offense and defense. I remember hard line running where he often used to make uh, breaks, uh, scoring in corners. I just got this thing of midfield hitting a hard line off Mitchell Pearce and, and, and heading towards the try line. They're the, they're the things I remember. And then walking in the door with Orbo was, um, he was honest, he was very honest uh, guy. The way that he trained, the way that he spoke, uh, there was no ego about him. And he was just, uh, he was a guy that loved rugby league. Um, and wanted to be coached, wanted to learn the game, and then he wanted to go out and perform. And that, uh, that, that was as simple as Orbo was. We jump all the way to now. There's only two players that have achieved 300 club games in Roosters. How significant do you see that milestone? It's hard to play 300 games at the Roosters. It's really hard. You know, it's, a, it's a club, uh, along with a couple of others, that demands success and it demands players play at a high standard for a long period of time to play for the Roosters. Hence why we've got Luke Rickardson and Anthony Minicello as the other 300 club members and um, and that's what Orbo is. He's, he's played at a high level for a long period of time and he's a Rooster and, and I'm really proud of him to play 300 games and do it with Two other legends of our club, and um, yeah, it's a it's an honour to see him run out there and 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 make that 300 games. But also in with the respect of the game that he's going to do it, um, and the respect of his peers. That sort of brings me to the next question: Was what do you think it is about Orbo that, that helped him achieve this milestone? His absolute footy smarts is the first thing. So he's a he's a small back rower. You know, sometimes played centre, but he's a back rower. He's an out-and-out -out back rower the longer his career went. And he's small. He's probably about, you know, five to six kilos smaller than, than a normal back rower and about uh, 10 to 15 kilos smaller than the new age back rowers that are coming into our game. So he's absolute footy smarts. His understanding of what he needs to do, what others are going to do in front of him and how he needs to adapt and move to to combat that, that is key in him playing his 300 games. Then there's the respect of uh, his body and the way that he needs to play and, and prepare between each game, year after year, to be able to do that. And he's, um, he's a very good man and the way that he's, um, he's, he's respected the game and the way that he wants to prepare each time has allowed him uh, to be ready every single year to play 300 games. How have you seen him grow during your time here as a, as a man and as a, as a footballer as well? So the, there's a couple of different things there. So he was, as I said, the footy nouse that he played with, he was very smart about the way that he attacked the game and, and he knew space very well. So those hard lines that I talked about that hidden hitting off Mitchell Pearce and and playing space, he used to get the ball early and, and drift and ball play. Um, and then the game started to shift around just as he arrived in and then through uh, from 2010 to 2020, um, you know, wrestle took over and then he had to learn a new art form. Uh, and then the thing that he developed um, was his defensive nous. Um, you know, he's one of the best defenders I've ever seen play the game his ability to understand the opposition, understand his movements, coach other players around him. And so his ability to lead other players, both on the field and off the field, has been the biggest development for him. He was a very good, naturally gifted player as a kid. Didn't grow to the size of a normal NRL player. Um, has had to do it as underweight compared to other players. And then he's learnt the tools to be able to play those 300 games in that way. 
Yeah, he's uh, one of the most honourable men uh, you'll meet. He's when when you walk in these doors at the Roosters, um, anybody from from head coach right down to a, a first day player, he sets the standard on how you should act as a as a Rooster. He doesn't always have to mention it, but the way he goes about consistently living uh, the Roosters way um, holds us to our standards. We, we, we know we have to uh, honour um, the club captain and honour the way that he lives his life and the way that he re expects us to be as Roosters. Um, and he does hold us accountable and that's, you know, he's a great father, great husband um, and, and just a really special man. Yep. Uh, that obviously is a lot about Orbo, but how do the playing group look up to him, the younger fellas and, and even some bigger guys that have been around for a while? Yeah, with respect. He's, he's absolutely respected by everybody in our club and, uh, and the playing group. When someone comes in, um, Mitch is not a player that wastes words and tries to give a lecture. He's, he's an action guy, so he will, he will do the right thing all the time. Um, he thinks of the club ahead of himself um, incredibly all the time uh, and so his actions and the way that he uh, walks in the door, prepares, the way that he uh, will interact with uh, supporters uh, uh, pre and post game, the way that he'll, um, uh, the way that he'll deal with the media, he's, he's, he's just the way that you'd love your son to be is the way that Orbo is. He's um, he's he's just he's that guy that 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 honours his family really well and, and and also the Roosters. What do you think it'll mean for Mitch to run out on his 300 pounds? He won't say it, um, but he's worked so hard, and and I think he will replay a fair bit of nostalgia of what's gone into him playing those 300 games um, and, and respect's a big thing for him so he will understand the effort that he's put in um, to, to get to those 300 games and what he's, the selflessness that he's portrayed during that time and knowing Orbo he'll think about the people that have helped him get to there. It won't be an ego driven I've, I've got there, it'll be more about the people that have um, that have helped him get to that point and also, um, yeah, he'll just be, he'll be uh, very quietly uh, honoured to be in that club with Minnie and Rico. Can you describe Orbo in a word or two? Mm. Yeah, he's, uh, I would say uh, in a word or two, um, yeah, he's just honourable and respectful.